Now I gotta just earn my way up again. Freaking hate it, dude. Alright. Our first question is from M Famous GC. He said, What is your main goal to achieve this year? Uh, 1k subscribers. 1,000. That's my goal. Um, or to at least have 1,000 people watching every video. You know, that would be very, very um, amazing. Wow, Nox. Can't believe how much you've accomplished. It's funny to think that I've wanted to be a YouTuber longer than he has. Like, when I first met him, I wanted to be a YouTuber, and he really had no interest in doing it. But, like, it's funny because he's accomplished more in a year than I have of being on YouTube. And I just kind of wanted to congratulate you for your one-year anniversary on YouTube and just tell you guys the story of how we met. So it goes all the way back to seventh grade. Him and I were in the same band class, and there was this all the other kid who was also in our band class, and he was my friend. And him and I both wanted to be YouTubers, and we always talked about, you know, having our own YouTube channels and stuff like that. Him and I watched a lot of Face Clan. We were, like, really into gaming, trick shotting, sniping, and stuff like that back on, like, Black Ops 2 and stuff like that, like, a couple years ago. And Knox was also into that stuff. But one day, I think it was, like, a couple weeks into the school year, and I was talking to my friend him and i went up to knox because like he was like the new kid and we're like hey dude what's up what's your name and stuff like that and we got to know him and it turns out we had the similar interest we both like you know the same call of duty teams we like the same things we like the same call of duties all that uh, good stuff and we actually told him that him and i want to be youtubers and knox is like that sounds kind of cool so him and i already knew a couple tips but it turns out knox actually knows a lot more now than we do um, but you know, you know, he's like really into that stuff, which is cool. But like we started to hang out and Knox is like, dude, this is cool. I kind of want to try doing this. And so we did that and he, here he is now. He's been on YouTube for a year. He actually had an old channel with like 500 subscribers, but then it got terminated sadly. But this channel, I, I think in my opinion is doing a lot better than that channel was going. That channel wasn't doing that bad. But I think his channel now is doing much better, and congratulations to you for your year on YouTube, um, or one year anniversary on YouTube. Here's to another year, you know, I hope one day I can be as successful as you are on YouTube. But, you know, I mean, I don't really have the same dream as him. I just, like, have a dream of being a musician. I'm sure a lot of you guys do know that. But I do want to be a YouTuber kind of, like, part-time and stuff like that. So, congrats, Knox, again. Here's to another year, dude, and congratulations. I can't, I don't know why I keep saying that. So, that's the story of how we met. It was pretty cool. And, yeah, so, congratulations again, Knox. Starting my YouTube career was probably the best decision I've made of my life. If I would have never started YouTube, where would I be? If I would have never met Miles YT back in some grade, where would I be? It goes all the way back in 7th grade, me and Miles YT, uh, basically the way we met each other was we were sitting in band class, uh, I was a new kid and I sat next to him, we both played trumpet and uh, I had no music and I actually did not even have an instrument just because I actually was waiting to get one. So I was actually sitting next to him and the teacher told me to look off his music just for a bit. So I actually looked off his music. Basically, that's the way we met. Um, and if I would have never met him, you know, where would I be in YouTube? Where would I even be? What would I be doing? I don't know if I would be doing YouTube. Uh, I don't even know where I would be. So uh, it's a big, big thing for me. I think about that all the time. You know, where would I be if I would have never met Miles? You know, uh, we go way, way back to some grade. Uh, we had a lot of good memories back in 7th grade, 8th grade, and now we're in ninth grade, and we're, we, we, we are really, really good friends, and we, we really do our, take our, uh, relationship, a friend relationship, as serious as possible, um, he is one of my really, really great friends, and he has seen me start out from the beginning, and it's just crazy, you know, uh, he has been on YouTube longer than me, he's probably been making videos longer than me, um, and, somehow some way i am lucky and a lot of you guys are here now watching my videos i just want to say thank you guys so much for a good year on my channel i just i can't believe it's been a year already since i've uploaded my first video it's just a huge deal for me um when i go back and watch my old video from last year you know it's freaking crazy because 
uh, the way I looked, uh, everything like that, the way I looked, my face, my hair, it was just crazy, because it was, my hair was all over the place, my hair was ugly, I gotta admit that, uh, I look very, very different today, I talk very different today, uh, I act very different today, all because of YouTube, and how serious I take it, uh, you guys have given me that hope, and that passion, and everything like that to make me who I am today, and I just want to say thank you guys so much, like, it's, it's crazy because I started out YouTube thinking I was going to get big somehow, you know, because it's actually really hard, you know, than it seems. I actually started out YouTube trying to become big, but it's actually harder than it seems because it's just so hard to get views and so hard to get people to watch your videos. Uh, but I do believe that if you keep putting in work and effort in your videos and you keep working hard and on your videos, just grinding out videos all the time, I believe that you will have a fan base one day and you will have fans. I do believe that because I always told my friends that, I always told Miles that, uh, basically how I got in the position where I am today is all I did was I, I worked on my videos really hard. I was really, really motivated uh, by a YouTuber named Fusitube. He, he's one of my biggest inspirations and I know a lot of people out there hate him, which I totally understand and I'm not going to argue about that in this video. Uh, basically, he was one of the guys that motivated me like every day to uh, make more YouTube videos and every day when I put a lot of effort and motivation in my videos, it just had a bigger outcome. Uh, there's a bunch of videos on my channel that has like 10,000 views. There's a video that has almost 200,000 views. Uh, all because of how much work I put in and I believe if you guys put in a lot of hard, hard work in your videos, you'll see a big outcome. Um, it's just crazy how much you guys have done for me, like, I, I just, I can't believe it, it it's crazy, I just want to say thank you to you guys, this isn't about me, um, it is my one year anniversary, but it's not about me, it's about you guys and what you guys did to change my life, like, I just want to say thank you, like, where would I be today, would I be studying in school, probably not, would I be doing something else, probably playing video games, probably, but, I probably wouldn't be making YouTube videos if it wasn't for Miles or my any other friends. If they would have never shown me YouTube. So I just want to say thank you to them. I want to say thank you to all my real supporters out there. All the people that have been riding with me for almost a year now. I just want to say thank you so much. And I love you guys so much. Have a great day, guys. Have a good night. Celebrating this one year anniversary. It's awesome, guys. Thank you guys for watching.